Mwame mwona na dem, nunajua badu babati ni mali safi. Jamani. Ah, babati ni mali safi. So kuna venye madem wata kuingile. Unona, hawajui nini inaendelea, bata wata kuingilia. Babati ana kuhandle, ona hana hatred. As in venye watu wanasema, hachukuli serious. Wengine wana muambia, sijui marry this girl. Don't marry her. Atatesa mtu hii. Wengine wana kujua wana muambia, this and this. Unajua kuna wazazi wa social media, na kuna wale wazazi tasa wazazi wa mtoto unaona so mimi baba T, I love him commentator mwano yeah. commentator unanitafuta ni bati yeah man kama flow mjuku papa francis commentator the commentator yes. ni the commentator atana nayo makuta What's happening YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, mimi ni the commentator. Jukwa ke Papa Francis mnaitafuta hamulipa di ha jamani. So yesterday after kupiga story na baba nani? Baba Talisha. <laughs> eh mafans walikuja waka request bana tuna wakasema tunataka kuona ana benta tunataka kuona ana benta kome hapo kwa channel hapa na nini? Alafu mimi ni nani? Bana jua mimi ndo daktari ama fans huko nje. <laughs> Kama leo acha ni watibu ni watafutie the beautiful one Hana Benta na ndio huyo hapa ha jamani mambo poa sana tuna unakaga hivi kila siku yeah 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 <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm always like this yani ku slay is part of ya nini daily una slay wakati yenye kuna kitu yeah. inafaa usile si ati una slay kila time uh-huh. yeah so kuna time una kaga hivi au matambaa yeah. kuna time unaweza niona tu hata huwezi nijua <laughs> nikitembea hivyo kwa street hata mtu akao like eh yeah. Uh, ni Hana Bento mwenye nimezo ya TikTok kama ni mgani. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sasa Hana Bento unajua pale vo TikTok you have quite a large following. Mkienda anga live unapata sijui over 700 people watching like eh it's a safari yako ya TikTok. Like ilianza anga wapi? Nataka tu kujua story yako from zero follower mpaka sasa hivi tuko to over 200. Okay, nilifungua TikTok wakati Az ya Dari anza ku trend. So hiyo video ya Az niliona TikTok like watu walikuwa na post so unaona ukipost kwa status utaona kuna ile ba name eh kajina kako hapo so nikaona ni TikTok so i had to download the app after nime download TikTok it was just for fun like sikuwa nimeamua like nifanye content ama nifanye anything ilikuwa tu ku watch watu ku watch tu watu then kidogo kidogo hapa 20 was it 2020 april hapo may yeah nikapoteza shosho yangu then i was nilikuwa na stress i was so lonely hakuna mtu mwenye yako like By then I was not dating so hakuna mtu mwenye anakupea kare ka comfort yenye unaona like uko happy so hapo ndo nilianza TikTok hata ukiangalia video yangu ya kwanza bro niku niku Silafu kidogo hapo za nguvu za umeme eh turudi kwa Hana Benta eh sasa after shows tumefika hapo sasa yeah. Ukiangalia hata TikTok yangu the first video yeah. ni yote mwenye mazishi ya shosho yangu mm-hmm. but then I came to heal kidogo kidogo nikaweka private so hapo ndo nilifungua TikTok to keep myself busy after hapo nikapata job safaricom so nikakuwa nikijiki busy busy sana so ikafika time juzi juzi tu nikaanza nikaanza kuona watu wanafanya videos wana like by then I was shy msije kuwa shy but okay. after nime install TikTok ikanipa ile courage ya watu alafu naona nikienda ku post video naona kana naweza post venye watu wanatukano kule alafu pia mimi ni tukanwe so uko na kale kafia ka ni post ama ni si post wasi watasema nini watasema u dem nini ni unajua ujui mtu anakubebanga aje hata kikuona huko nje so mimi nika post video ya kwanza ikapata 2000 views nika post nyingine ikapata 3000 views Sasa nilikuwa tu na group kidogo kidogo ikakuja sasa hapa story ya babati yesa ndo ilifanya waja usiruke huko kwanza <laughs> usiruke kwa babati because hapo ndo kuna chai kabisa <laughs> eh, hapo ndo kuna tea kabisa ndio imefanya hadi kabanisha watu tutafute hana benta okay sasa tutwende tu pole pole hana benta ha jamani <laughs> sasa ndo hiyo sasa umefungua tiktok after umeona Aziad so yeah um, yeye ndo alifanya ni fungu inspire yeah yeah, yeah na hiyo video yake okay, so, so kila mtu alikuwa anamweka status so i wanted to know who the man alikuwa status kwa nini kila mtu anamweka status amefanya nini so si nikaona ni video ina trend hapo yeah. ndo nikafungua hiyo app so ni, like u, ni app yenye hata ukiwa na stress zinaisha unaweza tu pata hivyo tu kaboom video unaingia saa 6 usiku unajipata 4 asubuhi hadi 
mimi naweza ingia live sangapi sasa hata nikikosa kuingia live kuna ule msia kona namba yangu atakuja whatsapp ananiambia eh ana benta hapana kuja tu to have to fun yeah. na mwambie aki si feel pole wako zile za kuja tu by then nikiingia hata kama ni saa 5 700 views 1000 maybe hata tunaweza tunaweza kesha tu tufike around hapo saa moja na bado niko na viewers 300 views wanaanza kuniambia oh hata hatuja doze hana benta juu yako ni kama uko na kamote sijui nini tunafaa kuwa job bima sana hatuko job so kuna wale like wako yeah. addictive na mimi yeah. like nikiingia tu pale lazima mtu ako na stress zinaisha by the way kichako yangu tu mtu tu yenyewe tu anamaliza tu stress <laughs> kichako tu ananiambia like wananiambia i love you after everything so lazima tukeshe lazima tu have fun by the hata hii tiktok by the way imeniharibia nini yangu ya kudoz by the way patani sipati usingizi usiku unapata usingizi mchana sipati usingizi usiku <laughs> imagine kama five haijafika siezi pata usingizi like. yes nitajaribu kudoz but niko tu pale busy busy by then hata una msimu mwenyewe unaweza shindo kitext whatsapp so unaona uingia tu tiktok just to have fun mimi kama asubuhi haijafika siezi pata usingizi na kuna deneza doz asubuhi niamke the next day sa moja za usiku and i'm like sijui at the time hata kuna siku nyingine juzi nilikuwa nimeingia nilitoka live around saa mbili za asubuhi am so after nimetoka nika doze nikaamka the next day saa moja ile tu naamka uko like ni saa ngapi so by then nilikuwa nakapimpwa <laughs> so huko kakafanya nilie and then mimi ujipenda sana like nikiamka nipate niko na kitu kana nipeanga stress so nikaamka nikaingia live watu wakaanza kuniza ni nini unalia naambia nimeamka nikajipata na kapimpo alafu nimeamka nimejipata ni saa moja nikaanza kuwa brem naambia mnajifanyanga mabeshto wangu na hata mwezi niamsha because umedosa mbili unaamka the next day usiku saa moja how you can breakfast ni lunch ama ni nini ama ni sapa so hapo inabidi tu mekula sapa then tena unarudi ile tu the same same tiktok because hakuna app yenye nyingine yenye inaweza ku keep busy kama tu ndio hustle yenu but exactly, anyway yeah. um, hii hana benta na kuanga ni jina yako ukweli yeah hana ni jina yangu hata iko kwa id na benta benta nilipatiwa shule i was the bellinga yeah. by then so hiyo jina nilipatiwa na deputy principal uh-huh. yeah yani unapoa nickname na mwalimu yeah na inakuwa una sumbua <laughs> nilipatiwa na teacher imagine hadi wa leo nikastick na hiyo jina hata ukitaka kunijua uluzia tu benta 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 utaambiwa hata usha go everywhere wananijua benta yeah okay na ni nickname it's not my name yeah. hana ndio jina yangu hata iko kwa id uh-huh. yeah sasa pale vo tiktok the moment umeingia of course kulikuwa kumekuja creators wengi kuna kina ajib sijui nani na nani kina kendi but kuna time sasa umeingia pale vo who's unaweza sema sahi mwenye sahi tuseme ni mtu famous who was your first friend ku create pale tiktok wakati tu nilijoin tiktok nilijoin tiktok nilipata nana the first person mwenye nilimeet after nimeingia tiktok ilikuwa alma kenothia and yeah alma motheo kenothia au ndo the first people nilianza ku interact na wao because how kwa kuna venye unapata mtu ni sereba alafu anaku follow back immediately na una followers so unaona huyu msii ni mhambo asha kupenda like ivo tu so akaniambia ilikuwa birthday yake akaniambia kama tunaweza enda tu chill na tukaenda tu kuka chill tu ivo like how ndo wali nilifeel tu vizuri kupata follow back yao na ni maseleb wako na brutic but wana ku appreciate as a small tiktoker au ndo ulipatana na wao tena nikapata na pia na ajib nani mwingine ilipata ilikuwa ajib alma kenothia official kenothia and who is this person si muona na sahau jina yake nedi parezo Yeah, nedi au au ndo walifanya like ni kuwe na yeah. yani naona wako na 100,000 followers but bado wanakuambia tulianza hapo benta yeah. tulianza hapo sisi work hard hata sisi tukiingia hatukuwa na followers tumeanza zile afa wananiambia ukiingia ujue kuna mwenye atakupenda na kuna mwenye hata kupenda so utaingia mtu akuchukie mwingine akupenda so usisikize watu by then wakanifanya ni kuwe taliban si kuwa taliban by then kwa yeah, stay dangerous yeah nika inabidi na tiktok ukikaa msofti hey manze uta utakufa na stress zitakupeleka huko juu mbinguni utasonga so inabidi tu kuwe tu like ile kichwa ngumu mtu akikutusi uko tu zile za ni sawa hivyo ndio muona nikaa ni sawa twende nalo mkisonga tu mkisonga ya yeah, so hao ndo watu wenye wali inspire nikakuwa tiktok like wali ni welcome vizuri atakwao ya yeah, i had fun nilienjoy sana by the 
yeah i appreciate them okay sasa hana bendi unajua tukitoka about eh, mabeshte lazima pia kulikuwa na ma enemies Wendy. kuna sasa sasa kuna time imetokea wewe na Merilinda hey wajua juzi hadi ali alifanya interview na yeye akaandika <laughs> i am the most hated tiktoker in kenya yeah sasa wewe na Merilinda mm-hmm. noma ilikuwa ngani nini sisi tulikuwa tu tiktok by then issue ilianza tulikuwa tunacheza tu we are just having fun ile issue ya kwanza yetu na Merilinda ilitoka tulikuwa tuna have too fun tunacheza game unajua unafaa unaelewa mtu Merilinda si yule mtu mwenye Merilinda unaweza joke na yeye but kuneza unaweza phrase it as a joke but kwake hata take kama joke unafaa una understand mtu venye yako so we are just having a match tu ya kuhave fun tu tiktok watu wakakuja kuna wenye hawampendi sijui the reason behind kuna wenye tu unajua kuna mtu anaweza kuchukia tu hivyo wakati wakakuja tukicheza game wakani gift wakani gift wakani gift wakani gift so after like Merinda kaambua story kunihusu like akaambua una kuna ile tu out of anger msia anaweza kufikisha story akwambie hey hana benta alisema hata wewe ni roho mbaya sana so you have to react mimi ni yule msi mwenyewe ukiniambia kitu na react before hata niende kufanya uchunguzi wangu so mtu akakuja kaniambia Merinda amesema hivi na hivi na amesema ataku block by then Merinda kani block ilikuwa um, the first time Merinda ni block ilikuwa time ya tulikuwa tumeenda kwao mimi Alma Mutheo ya yeah, tukiwa wengi huko bifi kaanza hapo ya jamaa wake na Alma Mutheo kuna video Alma Mutheo alifanya na jamaa wake ka trend so Merinda akasema watu wakamfikishia story wakaanza ku comment una ile tu video jamaa wake akifanya video na dem yende viral watu wanaanza kumuingilia wanamwambia ti you look good you look good mnakaa poa na udem like kuna wala tu walikuwa na hate so by then merinda ka feel vibaya maybe i don't know whether maybe alma si kama rim protector ma kum protect so merinda ka feel vibaya akakuja like sasa mimi pia nikafanya video sijui ni ya kanungu nilifanya na jamaa wake bado bado watu wakaleta vitu hapo wakaanza ku comment ku comment ku comment then time ya anniversary time ya anniversary yao tulikuwa um, tunatoa do kwa tunaenda tu kwa tunatoa do so by then merinda kani text akaniambia nafaa kutoa do mimi nikamwambia ni sawa so alafu huko nje nikafikishwa story watu wanasema sijui nini unajua yes unaweza amini merinda alisema ama mimi nilisema ama mtu alisema but sikuwa na ile hint so venye niliambona mtu merinda amesema sijui wewe ni nini na nini nika cut off nikasema ata siendi hiyo event yao by the way atasikuenda ilikuwa the year first anniversary so i missed it sikuenda by then hata nilikuwa tu nimekaa tu hivyo kwa nyumba by then merinda kani block akakasirika kani block mimi with other fans pia alma then ilikuja hii time ya watu sasa wakaanza kumhate ilifika press nika, nilikuwa na account nyingine watu wakaanza kumhate alikuwa ameingia live tiktok mimi nikamsearch nikaingia so niko na watu wanamtusi wanamwambia vitu mbaya ai nikasema hata kama ni bestia hata kama tulibrokiana i have to sort this so ndo nikaingia nikamcommentia nikamwambia asisikize watu so wako like unaona the moment mtu ame kuhate na mlibrokiana mkanyamaziana haku ana expect naweza rudi nimwambia ya yeah, naweza comment nimwambie acheni kumhate because by then madem the biggest enemy me over woman is a woman, a woman. Yeah. yeah so watu wanamtusi pale wanamwambia ati sijui huku hana nyama wanamtusi nikamwambia pana merinda please usisikize watu na akaanza hadi kulia ila like mimi hata kama mimi mimi venye nakuanga siwezi taka kuona best yangu akilia hata kama wewe si best yangu hata kama you are my biggest enemy siwezi taka kuwatch ukiwa na shida ati jue ni enemy yangu ati, ama nikupate mahali kwa barabara una struggle alafu nikuacha ati juu tuko na hiyo chuki so hapo ndo nilitaka step nikamuonyesha yes tuliko sana but i have to protect her nikachukua hadi nikam dm tiktok nikamwambia give me your number akanipatia number tukaongea nikamwambia usisikize watu venye tu watu wameku hate wachana tu na madem sisi tulikuwa na issue but the, to the solve mimi ndo by the mind only mo approach mimi na kuangana ile tu ayu na huwa na go down to earth yeah yes nime, tuliko sana tuliko sana sisi wabili but i don't want to hold that grudge so i go down to earth i text her personally i did nikamuongelesha nikamwambia story za tiktok watu usisikize watu yes wana ku hate wame create video zako mob but then what dem alikuwa analia 24/7 yene zin like una feel vibaya unaingia tu pale tiktok akiingia tu hivi live madem hapo wanamtukana because of wanamwambia atafai kuwa na huyo jamaa wanamwambia you, you are not supposed to be with that girl Wan, yani wanakaa ni kama wanaweza chagulia huyo jamaa dem yet jamaa ni yali mchagua because unajua beauty lies on the eyes of the beholder so 
jamani yale alipenda Merilinda so hakuna venye utakuja umchagulie demu unaona so hapo mimi ndo tukaingiana vizuri na tukasameheana na ikakuwa tu ni hivyo then juzi juzi tumekuwa tu mabeshi tumeingiana vizuri by the way mimi by the in case ni kwa like sikupendi hata ikuwe nini siezi go down to earth but kuna kale ka friend unaonanga huu mtu aliku host kwake aliwapikia aliwafanyia everything yes mmeko sana but you have to go down to earth because that time i appreciate hata kama alipewa story na watu aliwashukuru sana unaona so mimi nika tuka tukaanza ku solve issues mimi nikamwambia tukwe tu mabeshte na tukafollowiana back tuka kwa friends hadi kwa backup so mimi hata nikimpata tiktok akifanya game I do support her. Na gift to nikienanga tu zangu. Like hata hii anniversary yenye anafanya ya pili lazima niende because I have to prove people yeah. si na chuki na yeye. Hata si mambo na ku prove you have to be there to support. Yeah, her. I have to support. Yeah, lazima mimi napenda ku support wasi sana sana hata kama sikujui napenda ku support msi sana kwanza business. Unaza, unajua mabeshte that is how you get to know your true friend because kuna beshte yako anajiita beshte na kuna mahali anapata sasa Merina si ameka hiyo kitu watu wa msupport. Ako tu pale tu anaongea vibaya but hazi msupport. Mimi I'll make sure nimemsupport. So iko tent but I'll make sure nimefika huko. Tuko ndakazi tutakuwa huko na asuba sana. <laughs> okay sasa um, tukisonga sasa kwa the big story hapa hivi. Mm-hmm. Yesterday I had an interview with uh, Anito Babatalisha. Mkipenda Faustine eh? mm-hmm. na tukapiga 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 of course the sad story ya kupoteza Malkia ni na nini hiyo ndio ilikuwa you know kila mtu ovya sana ana umango na hiyo story but then ukafika ile part nikamuuliza eh, na watu wanasema wewe na anabenta kuna venye kuna venye jamaa mpaka ilibidi akunywe juice ndio 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 ajibu hiyo swali sasa ikakuwa tu it's only fair we get to hear from you juu unajua alisema ah chini mabeshte we are close friends but unajua wanaume si ndio tunafichanga hizo vitu sasa nataka kujua wewe na baba Talisha kuna kitu ni ubeshte ama what's popping? Sikuwe ngumu sana. Well, uh, we are just friends. Mabeshte. Yeah, good friend. Yeah. yeah. Mwenye unaweza pigia simu saa 9 na ashike simu. Mhm. Nivote. Yeah. Hakuna. <laughs> Hakuna. <laughs> <laughs> Unajua hii ndio chanzi yako. Labda unataka kufu... juu mm-hmm. kuna hadi videos mmefanya live nina nini mm-hmm. watu wameanza kuita sana mama Talisha mama Talisha like imefika. Kemu waniite hivyo. Hey hey. Mi yale nimepitia TikTok. Eh. Hey. Ilikuwa siku nyingine hapo mimi nilikuwa tu na view video TikTok. Then video yake ikakuja FYP. Yenye ame post the rich wife. Malkia. So nika nikakuwa na interest like nataka kuona what is happening. Unajua like ukiona mtu akiwa spendi kuona mtu akiwa sad. So by then nikimaliza ku view hiyo video I was reading the comment then nikaona ako live nika join live yake. Hata tu kwa friends. So by then alikuwa tu anaongea about therapy ya mtoto wake. Anasema venye ana, ana struggle like the only hustle yenye ako nayo niyo ya videographer na photographer unaona. So mi nikamfollow nikamwambia kindly follow me back na akani follow back tuka kwa friends. So mi nikamwacha kwa hiyo live. So mi nikaenda tu zangu then nikam DM nikamwambia hey baba Tarisha akaniambia hey tukaongea nikamwambia naweza support aje hasu yako ndo at least huyu mtu hii make, make sure like ameenda therapy na ako sawa akaniambia the only way you can support me ni kukuja photoshoot yangu nikamwambia when are you ready nikamwambia hata kama ni kesho hata saa hii mimi niko ready yeye akaniambia tupange on a weekend because ako na zingine alikuwa anaenda sijui wedding ama wapi so akaniambia to meet it was i think on friday i'm not sure of the exact day so tuka meet hiyo siku nika tukafanya photoshoot everything was successful until sasa tukimaliza photoshoot nikamwambia tunaweza shoot video tu moja ya TikTok maybe because mimi am a biggest fan na alafu niko na mabeshte wengi have many views in TikTok maybe watakuletea customer you never know tujaribu tu yeye akaniambia ni sawa basi nataka tuifanye aje baba ti ni yule mwenye hata hajui ku dance ana vibe tu so mimi nikamwambia this is what we will do tuneka song ya love because i want nataka tu nione watu venye unaona like unaona ukipost uki video una post video because intentionally you want to see venye watu watasema unaona you know baba T ni single daddy ho wengi watasema nini nini so so mimi nikamwambia tuneka song ya love mimi nikaeka song ya love so nikamwambia will just walk nothing because yeah aliniambia juu ku dance so <laughs> tukatembea tu na nikaeka song ish 
Your videos are equal, almost one M views. Comments zili kuwa apu. Ata iku ma... Hey! La ikusha post video one hour, ikona 4,000. Comments. Kai? One hour. I'm like, nini nini naendelea? Eh! Kidogo kidogo, tasa saizo, ata sija ingia live by then, mi ni kwa tu wapo ni menyamaza. Na watch tu, unawana ukipost video, mi na postingi video TikTok, then naenda zangu. Na rudi badai kwa angalia, maybe comments ama likes zimefika wapi, nona. Heli kakuja ni kasoma comments, kuna wenye wana hate, kuna wenye wana sema nini, kuna wenye wana comment about mavazi yangu, like everybody. Sasa wame ni ingilia because awajai muona na dem. So the first time wame muona na dem, nuna jua badu babati ni mali safi. Jama. Babati ni mali safi. So kuna venye mademu wata kuingilia. Unona, hawajui nini inaendelea, but wata kuingilia. Jioni yata before saa tisa ifike, mtu wakani pigia simu wakani ambia, Hana, una trend. Nika muuliza wapi? Smart girls. Kamuza, uko ni wapi? FB. Kuna nini? Akani ambia, check your WhatsApp. So, alikuwa mentumia screenshot. Mtu wame post ati udemu ana force issues kwa babatarisha. Like, ni kama na jipendekeza. Unona? Eh, Nikasema kusupport mtu ni kujipendekeza. Eh, nikasema haita ni hit. Wacha tu niachane nayo. Jioni nika nikapostua pia page nyingine ya Facebook. Siji wanasema ati venye baba Talisha alikuwa anapenda Malkia, hapa hana benta itabidi ame give up. Yaani akumganga hadi caption yenyewe, itabidi hana benta a give up. I'm like, mbona ni give up? Juu alikuwa anapenda the red wife. Mimi I'm just there to support him. He, nikasema wacha ni ingia TikTok nisikia kenye wanasema. Ilikuwa sambili za usiku. Wacha ni fungwe live ya TikTok hivi. Jesus Christ. I was like, what is happening? Uche ingia, au jamaliza one minute, 200 views. One, ata siku maliza kidogo, I had 1.5 views. Because kuna wale wame niona uko FB, hawako TikTok. I'm glad by then ileta watu, mimi by then imeleta watu wengi sana TikTok. Because kuna ule mwenye ako Facebook, haji what is TikTok. But because anasikia kuna dema na G-Force, unajua madem ni wale wale tu, ata akujua who is this Hannah Benta, who is this Baba Tarisha, unona. So watu wengi waitoka Facebook, wakafungua TikTok account, just to follow Hannah Benta, wajue nini naendelea. Najua watu wanapenda kukua updated, wajue. What is what? So, watu wengine wakakuja TikTok, mimi na ingia tulevi nikuwa na 1.5 views, nikuwa tuwa hapo like. Ni wambie nini, wengine wana, he, what is happening? Alafu wengine wana ingia na zile komenza, huu ni ule demana jifos kwa babati. I'm like, like nili feel vibaya, by then nili feel vibaya, mi kama si ule msi mwenye. Because, hii ishu ilikuja ya kufosi ilikuja because I promoted him, I supported him. Nili simama na yeye, nani kamombe babati, in case you need a friend to talk to, kindly. Talk to me. I'll always be there. Just count on me. Like, unuona ule mse mwenye ni si godadi ana struggle. Iyo pesa ya therapy by then. It's very expensive. 2,000. Na maybe by then alikuwa naenda pa day. Sase kafika nile siku nye naenda Thursday na Saturday. So, mimi nikona, the only way aliniambia ni kumsupport. Sini yo nini? Why should I not do it? Watu wengi bako pale wakimuambia babati, I love you, babati, na kupenda, na kusupport. You are the best daddy, but they are not supporting him. Wana msupport unamdomo. So, mimi nikasema I'll do it action. So your video. By then, I had 137 followers on TikTok. Eh, I had 5,000 followers. 6,000. I had 6,000. I had 6,000. Who is this Hannah Benta? I had 6,000. I had 6,000. I had 6,000. I had 6,000. Eish. Comments ili kuwa po za matusi. Usha wa itusiwa na mtu hadi unuona hiyo comment. Wacha tu ucheke because. Like unuona tu wacha tu wangushe kijako because. Umu say before comment hivi. Halikuwa nafikilia nini. Lakini, lakini mungu anasaidia ulezi ya ndoli vizuri na sasa hapa tupo. So, kujibu tu watu. So, nga hivi mbele kidogo. Tujibu tu watu like. So, juu, kuna watu wanasema ni kama kwa na feelings kwa babatiba. Chutu waki kusema. Uwe? Mungu wa roho. Hausikike na mungu. Hana bent on the spot. Uwe? Hiyo ni ngumu guy mama yangu. We? So ndaka niseme ziko ama ziko? Sema tu chenye ziko kwa moyo wako. Personal ziko. Ya feeling so you. Ya. I love you. Ay kajiza. I love his. Na penda tu vibe zake. But. Kenye inapenda. Okay. Let me just say this. 
kama kuna mtu nilipenda for the first time ni mtoto wake because i didn't expect hanijui na kama tunaweza vibe because kuna venye tu revive sana tu revive sana hata ukiangalia video yenye tulifanya na yeye nimeipina hapo kwa video yangu ya TikTok tu revive sana na huyo mtu wewe so alafu venye babatia na kuhandle ona hana hatred as in venye watu wanasema hachukuri serious wengine wanamwambia sijui marry this girl don't marry her atatesa mtu hii wengine wanakuja wanamwambia this and this unajua kuna wazazi wa social media na kuna wale wazazi sasa wazazi wa mtoto unaona so mimi babati i love him but we are just good friends ile ndio kusafi sharada but ni sawa tu si tutakupata siku moja but um, mimi i think uh, tumejibu maswali za watu zenye walikuwa wanataka kujua uh, and Anabenta she is such a vibe. Unaweza enda mfollow TikTok. Hiyo story ya nini? Unajua feelings azifichangi. <laughs> Kama ni harusi tutaandikiwa tu post na we will come there and we will be there to witness the great wedding. <laughs> anyway, tukimalizia kwa mafanso wako. Hasa na kwa mishi kukusapo. Ningependa kuambia nini? Thank you so much kwa kuni support. Tukianza nilikuwa pale chini. Sasa I have over 215000 followers on tiktok ig hana benta half 1500 ig i'm not that active but i try being active youtube nimefungua juzi hata jamaliza 3 days hata sija nimepost two video tatu tatu hivyo kidogo bado ni hana benta tiktok hana benta i opened a backup just because of this love kuna wale wanakupenda kuna wale wanakuchukia but siku hizi wameanza kunipenda kabisa kabisa hata nikiingia live yake unapata kila mtu akona ako comment zuri zuri unaona no, nakwambia hii mama tarisha lakini mimi si ule si sema msinita hivyo because ule ni mtu huyu anataka tu ile motherly love anataka ile tu kwa upendo kwa ule upendo kwa mzazi kama kadem ata feel vizuri so mtu akinita mimi hivyo mimi huitika mimi by the time nikipata mtu ani hata kuna wale wameni save hivyo kuna wale wameni texting hey mama tal mimi just respond hi because hakuna haja ushinde ukiprove mtu kitu una serve if people want una serve watu kenye wanataka wakitaka kusikia mna date waambie mna date wakitaka kusikia mdate waambie bado hamdate unaona So to yeah. wisdom in it lads <laughs> you don't know <laughs> so yes mtu wangu nimekuwa nikipiga story na Hana Benta pala hivyo she is a very 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 uh, to say many familiar on TikTok si ndio yeah, yeah. yeah you guys go and follow and of course pia mimi mimi follow mimi niko kila mahali comment za tu for TikTok Instagram Facebook and of course upper yeah. main YouTube mpaka <laughs> Twitter ni iko si ndio and of course au kwa Twitter kwa nini <laughs> Sijui naendanga aje si kwa fano wake yeah. maybe i try yeah. Hey. Yeah. yes i feel it was amazing sana thank you so much eh hana uko na channel youtube nini yeah niko na youtube channel hana benta tiktok hana benta everywhere social media platform hana benta ukisearch tu hana benta utaniona tu yeah sasa so, so, thank you so much guys for watching and we'll meet in the next video make sure the comment it jukwake papa francis kama kawaida mnaenda vuta mnipati <laughs>